to you again. So welcome and let's start with the class for uh, the nine, the uh, week number nine. So we have the goals in always my, my class, always, always uh, will have three, three goals more or less. So the number one say that we are going to know what are the taxes. We are going to uh, talk with you about this topic. We are going to analyze um, mainly uh, what is a tax or the taxes in Guatemala. The government has a lot of taxes for all the, the people in Guatemala. The number two, we are going to understand the main difference between a little and a normal tax payer. Mainly in Guatemala, we have these types of um, taxpayers and we are going to analyze what's the main difference between them. And number three, we will practice um, taxes calculation, maybe um, the EVA in Excel, and we are going to design uh, some table like an invoice, for example, and, and I hope that um, in 40, 42 minutes, we are uh, arriving at the end of the class. So let's start with the quote. What's the quote for um, this class? In this class, um, we have a quote. I hope that um, you are watching. I don't know if you are watching my, my, I don't know, maybe my computer is, uh, joking here with me. I hope that you are watching the quote. Uh, the quote today is uh, said by Warren Buffett. What uh, said Warren Buffett about uh, the business? He said that accounting is the language of business. Accounting is the language of business. Remember, we are um, talking about business here in this class we are talking about um, projects personal projects we are talking about uh, enterprises some ideas that we uh, will uh, transform in products in services and if you are designing if you are thinking if you are developing something some ideas in business um, we have a topic for the business today we need to talk about accounting and we are going to make a focus in taxes because Warren Buffett has reason when he said that accounting, we need to know the basics about accounting because this is um, uh, mainly in business when we start with uh, an enterprise, we, 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 when we start making business in Guatemala City. What else? I want to start, um, maybe you saw me, you watched the video more or less in between 13 or 14 minutes. And I was talking in, in that video about this picture. I hope that you watch this picture and um, think in this moment, watch your screen and think what is she doing? What's she doing? I think that she is a girl because you can watch uh, her hands and she's a girl. So what's she doing? What's she doing? Um, a lot of ideas here. Maybe uh, she is taking note. Uh, mainly she is counting the, her money, his, her money or the, the money that he, that she has. Um, she's watching how many uh, bills they have in her hand. Maybe she is taking note. Uh, if you watch slowly, you will watch that she has a computer uh, on the desktop. So I think that maybe she is working in Excel, maybe. Uh, uh, she has a cell phone too at the right of, 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 of her. And you can watch a mouse. So they, they, she has a computer, she has a notebook, she has money, she is counting, she is analyzing, she is taking note, she um, is um, taking the control about her money. So like this girl 
all of us need to count the money that we have at home, maybe, that we have in the bank. Or if you are making business, you need to count every single day the money that you have. If you don't count your money, you will have problems because um, we always, we, we, we don't have the control about how many money, how much money we have, uh, maybe in the bank, maybe in our houses, maybe in the bedroom, I don't know. But we need to take the control. If we start making business, we can use the informatics or in this case, Microsoft Excel will be a good friend, a good tool for us to uh, take note and take the control about the, the money. In this case, about the projects, about the enterprises, about the business that uh, we are going to do maybe in this year, or maybe you were uh, doing business two or three years ago, and today we are going and analyze what to do with the money and how much of this money is for the government. The government is interested in our money. So this is the second question about the government. Do you know what is a tax? Do you know what is a tax? I ask to you, I make the question to, to all of you, what is a tax? If I uh, I'm talking uh, like um, an only tax, um, I, I say tax, but if I talk in plural, for example, I am uh, I will say taxes. What about taxes? Please watch carefully the screen because I'm not talking about taxes. No, I'm talking about taxes, taxes, and taxes um, uh, has um, the government make an obligation to us uh, to pay the taxes um, every month, every week, every day. We are paying taxes for the government. So I was thinking that in these classes of Microsoft Excel in uh, talking about economy and informatics, it's uh, needed to talk and make an emphasis in taxes. So what is a tax and uh, what or what are taxes? The taxes is the money that we should pay to the government. We must pay to the government every month. We say in Spanish, um, impuestos. The taxes in Spanish uh, are named impuestos. So we are going to um, talk about this topic in this class. So you are professionals. Uh, you have a career in, in Guatemala, you are studying in university, and uh, you and me and all people in Guatemala need to know how to work taxes in Spreeshed, how to work taxes and how to pay uh, them to the government. All governments around the world, not only in Guatemala, uh, in Central America, South America, North America, Europe, Asia, uh, Africa, uh, Africa, I don't know, in all the, all the world, we need pay taxes to the government. And we need to know how to work it, how to work them in, um, in a spreadsheet, how to take the control, and uh, um, not have any doubt with the government. We need to, to pay uh, every single month the, the taxes. So we need to know what about the, this topic. Um, another question. Uh, in my classes, I, I always uh, make a lot of questions. Maybe this is my style to, to, to share with you the classes. So you will watch, you will read a lot of questions in my classes. So this is the third question. The third question says, what taxes? 
Teacher, what taxes? What uh, are you talking about? I don't understand very well what's the topic for today, but I have here some examples about uh, the topic that I was preparing for you. Uh, the first tax, um, the most famous maybe in Guatemala, the most famous tax in Guatemala is IVA, Impuesto al Valor Agregado. It's uh, the name in Spanish, IVA. All of us pay IVA in Guatemala. When you are going to the shop where you are buying something, where you are in the mall, maybe you are in the gas station, all of buying that you are doing, you and me, all Guatemalan people pay IVA. Uh, another example is um, ISR, Impuesto Sobre la Renta. Uh, this tax is an obligation for people who earn more than 1,000, 1,050, 100 quetzales in a year. All people who, who earn this, this amount uh, must pay this tax in Guatemala, ISR. If you don't receive this amount, remember, 105,000 of quetzales in Guatemala, you don't need to pay ISR. But if you receive more than this, this amount, you need to pay every, every month or every year this tax. Another example about taxes is, uh, for example, EUC. Uh, this tax we pay in the municipality where uh, we are living. If you have uh, your own house, your uh, maybe you live in a building, uh, you have a, a, a portion of land. I don't know. You need you need to pay every year uh, this tax. You see, impuesto único sobre inmuebles. All Guatemalan people need to pay this tax. Uh, if you have, for example, your own business, or maybe in the future, you will have your own enterprise, and you need to have a lot of people working for you, you will need to pay another tax. This tax is named X, Instituto Guatemalteco de Seguridad Social. This tax is an obligation for people, the owners of people, the owners of business, owners of enterprises who uh, has a lot of people working for them. They need to pay uh, maybe like an owners, you need to pay 12 that 5% every, every month, every month, 12 and a half percent every month. If you have only a job, you pay the X, but you only pay the four in uh, that five percent every single month if you have a job. But if you are the, you are the owner, you are the owner of the business, you are the owner of uh, the enterprises, you need to pay 12 percent more or less, more or less about X. Uh, another example is ILTRA, Instituto de Recreación de los Trabajadores. This tax is an obligation to if you are the owner of uh, uh, some business in Guatemala. Uh, you need to pay to this institution, this organization in Guatemala, every single month you need to pay ILTRA. And uh, all your workers, all people that you have working for you can go to Retauleo, for example, can go and make a trip to Guatemala City, maybe, I don't know, maybe in Petapa, in Aguascalientes, maybe we can find an IRTRA. Uh, the most famous IRTRA is in, in Retauleo, but it's is a tax uh, for the owners of business. It um, uh, is uh, has the function based in taxes. Another example that I have in the screen is Intecap. Uh, all uh, owners in Guatemala need to pay Intecap. Instituto Técnico de Capacitación y Productividad. I I think this is the 
the meaning of in the cup <laughs> and we need to pay the one percent for in the cup the one percent for irtra more or less maybe in uh, about x um, between four and twelve percent every month so the taxes in guatemala is uh bigger the the count that we have in the laws in guatemala uh, country what else we have uh in this class uh, we have uh, a topic it's um we cannot avoid this topic when we talk about uh, taxes all municipalities in in guatemala country uh, need to receive from you all your taxes i have a picture here uh, the municipalidad de guatemala but I want that you, in this moment, imagine your municipality in your city. I will imagine my municipality that I have here maybe seven blocks. I live from a seven blocks from my municipality. I don't know where do you live, but uh, please imagine your uh, municipality. In this uh, building, the people who works uh, there uh, always, always, uh, every week, every month, every year, always, always will receive from us all the taxes. What taxes? For example, we have a list here at the right of this picture. For example, you see, I, I was talking about that, that tax. Uh, you need to pay maybe a, a month, maybe a year, but you need to pay if you have your own house, your own building in the city where you live, you see. Uh, the ornament, this is uh, the second um, the second tax that we should pay in any municipality, uh, ornament. Uh, the toilet train, maybe uh, in your city you uh, prepare the trash that you uh, receiving you work and you use in your home at home in your houses and you need to pay the toilet train this is another tax for the municipality number four the building license we need to pay to the municipality building license when you are uh, building your house building some local commercial local commercial commercial uh, commercials in your in your cities you need to pay this license maybe for uh, uh, maybe six months maybe one year it depends uh, the, the 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 size of your building uh, another tax that we pay in municipalities is the marriages the marriages is when you don't pay to any lawyer and you go to the, the municipality and you say to the mayor please mayor uh, I want to marry with my girlfriend, please uh, make it for, for us. So you need to pay a tax in this in this moment. Uh, what, what else? The graveyard. All of the all of all of us need to pay this um, uh, tax when, for example, um, I don't know, some relative of us in the family, uh, dead, for example, we need to pay this tax, named graveyard. And another example that we have here in this slide is the water and drainage service. Uh, if you are making your uh, your house, for example, you will need water. Yes or yes, you need the water and you need uh, the, the drainage service. So you need to pay this tax. You will pay this in the municipality. Remember, in Guatemala, we have maybe 340, 343 municipalities. All of these municipalities will receive taxes for all the people who are living there. It doesn't matter if you live at the north of Guatemala country, east, south, uh, east or west, it doesn't matter. All Guatemalan people go to the municipality and pay the taxes. 
If you don't like, I'm sorry, but all Guatemalans need to pay to the municipalities. This list that you are watching of taxes, and we have another taxes. I'm talking about the local um, city, the local municipality, but in Guatemala country, we have another taxes. Uh, for example, IVA, Impuesto al Valor Agregado. This tax um, make a difference between two people, two person. Uh, the first person is uh, is named uh, a small taxpayer. The small taxpayer only pay uh, five percent of IVA, but another uh, person uh, has to pay twelve percent of IVA. I'm sure that you know this information, but I'm uh, making making an emphasis because uh, in a minute we are going to practice how to calculate these taxes in, in Microsoft Excel. So if what's the difference between a small, a small and a normal taxpayer? The main difference is that the small taxpayer receive uh, less than 150 thousand quetzales in a year um however the normal taxpayer receive um, uh, more than 150,000 quetzales in a year so i don't know if you are um, uh, working with these uh, topics i hope that you are working it that you are paying your your taxes this is an obligation and we need, if we are talking about economy in this course, if we are talking about spreadsheets, we are talking about Excel, we are talking about informatics and business, it's needed to know these topics. It's uh, We need to talk about the taxes. So IVA is an obligation for you and for me to pay in Guatemala. What about the ESR, Impuesto Sobre la Renta? Uh, we have here an, an analysis. Uh, a small taxpayer doesn't pay impuestos sobre la renta. They don't need to pay it because they don't receive uh, more than 150,000 quetzales. But the normal taxpayer, they must pay, must pay impuestos sobre la renta, ISR. Maybe the five or seven percent, it depends how much money receiving in, in a year and they register in, in, in the financial information in Microsoft Excel, and they go to the bank and pay to the government. They like or they don't like. They must pay the ESR. But the small taxpayer doesn't pay uh, this tax. Uh, in Guatemala, in Guatemala, all Guatemala country, we need to pay uh, these taxes. What taxes? Uh, we have, for example, um, if you are in a gas station, you pay a tax. What tax? For example, you uh, are arrived to the gas station with your own car and say, please, boy, I need 100 quetzales of super. I need 100 quetzales of regular, regular. I need 100 quetzales of diesel. It doesn't matter. Uh, the government um, receive more or less four quetzales per gallon. I repeat, the government receive four quetzales per gallon of gasoline. So if you buy 100 quetzales of gasoline in the gas station, maybe you, you receive only uh, 80 quetzales in, in, in gasoline. Another 20 quetzales, more or less, is for the government. It's a tax. But we have a problem because we don't ask for our invoice. And uh, the, the boy who attends you in the gas station asks to you, do you need an invoice? And you say, no, thanks. I, I, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> I, I don't have any time. And you don't ask for your invoice. We have a problem in Guatemala. If you will start with an entrepreneur, 
if you will start with your own business, if you are um, uh, will start with your enterprise, with your ideas, you need an invoice. You need to, to ask for an invoice, for example, in a gas station, in a shops, for example, any shop we pay IVA. Uh, all of us who have vehicle uh, or, or a car or a pickup or a truck, for example, maybe a ship, maybe an airplane, <laughs> I don't know. We need to pay the vehicle circulation tax all years. We need to pay for them. Uh, if um, you are a liar, you are studying to become a liar, for example, you will pay tax stamps in Guatemala. Really? You say, really? Yes, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's the truth. Uh, we, we need to pay tax stamps. When you will degree from the university, you will finish your career in Universidad Rural de Guatemala. You will pay a university degrees taxes. How much money, teacher? I don't know. Maybe you will pay for your diplomas in Contraloría General de la Nación. You will pay, you need to go to an organization that in Spanish we name Colegio de Profesionales. When you finish the, this uh, university, your career here in Universidad Rural de Guatemala, you will pay a tax. This tax is named University Degrees in Guatemala. At customs, we pay um, a lot of taxes. If you went to Mexico City, for example, you went to North America, to uh, Europe, any country. When you arrive to Guatemala, you need to pay taxes at customs. It doesn't matter if you arrive in airplane, if you arrive in a, in a car, if you arrive in a ship, it doesn't matter. You need to pay taxes in Guatemala. In this picture, you watch, for example, that I was, I am talking about the SAT, Superintendencia de Administración Tributaria. SAT always will receive from us uh, our uh, taxes. In the picture below, you can watch people uh, waiting their turn and they are paying their taxes in a bank. Uh, if you don't like, if uh, to me don't, don't like, it doesn't matter. It's an obligation in Guatemala to pay these taxes. This is only an example, examples that we have. But uh, remember, in Guatemala, we have a lot of taxes that we need to pay every single month. But today we have a lot of advantages. For example, uh, if you don't want you don't want to go personal to the bank, you can connect to, to the internet in, in your house and uh, only go to, for example, Google and type www.declaraguate.sat.gov.gt and pressing enter. And when you press enter, you are going to the site of declaraguate.gt. In this site, you can um, choose how, what taxes or, or what tax are you paying to the government. And you fill uh, all information there. And uh, you, if you want to print uh, the sheet, or maybe you want to connect to your bank and pay immediately to the government. So we have today a lot of advantages to pay to the government, in this case, to pay to the SAT, or taxes. What taxes? Remember, I am talking about, I'm talking about these taxes. IVA, ISR, UC, maybe you can pay to, to the municipality in the Claraguate. IX, IRTRA, INTECAP, and what else? Maybe all, all of this list you can pay to your municipality. If they have a web page, you can pay all of this. You can pay if you are a, a small taxpayer, you can connect to the Claraguate. If you are a normal taxpayer, maybe you can do personal this information, or maybe you need to an account to do this, um, this uh, paying to the government. Uh, the same with ESR. 
um, the same with all of these examples that we are reading uh, in our screens. We only need to go to the computer and maybe we can use Microsoft Excel in a spreadsheet to take the control uh, about the taxes that we need to pay all of all of life that we will have. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter. For example, Eva, all people pay. If a little boy, maybe five years, seven years old, uh, goes to the shop, goes to a store, for example, and he says, please give me a Tortrix. Please give me a Galleta Chiqui. It doesn't matter. This little boy pay a tax. What tax, Eva? because this is an indirect uh, tax in Guatemala. All Guatemalans need to pay and need to know how to register, how to take the control um, about this topic. And we have a tool named Microsoft Excel to take the control about um, this topic. So we are going to practice how to design maybe here in microsoft excel i only have an example and i i i share with you my my screen again and i have an example this is a, a picture remember i always need an example if you don't have an example it's very difficult to work in microsoft excel so i choose this example um like um in invoice this is an invoice in guatemala I was, uh, I erased some information because it's um, uh, maybe for one person, I don't know. But we have here um, the example. So if we want to make um, this design maybe in Microsoft Excel, you can start always for the title. In this case, I will invent the name, for example, Commercial Rural, for example. This is only an example. Uh, and maybe you need to, to uh, get down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, maybe more or less. And we will change. Uh, you can watch here that the columns are not the same white. So we need to change it, change them here in Microsoft Excel. So uh, we need to focus in these columns that are here. I hope that you you watch um, here. I don't know if you can watch what is the area that I am designing. This area, this area, I'm I'm working. I don't know what happened with with this. Well, this area I'm working now. So I am uh, need to change the the white of the columns. Remember, we are going to in the middle of the columns when the icon changes you press click and go right or go uh, left it depends what do you want in this case for the example we need to go right more or less yes now we have another two columns uh, what columns teacher I, I don't understand very well these two columns we need to design it or design them here so we calculate the white of the columns. We can mark here uh, over the letter of the column. Press click over C and go over D. If you need more, you can move to the left, you can move to the right. I only need two columns, so I uh, indicate to Microsoft Excel what columns I need to change the white. Uh, when you have this, you go to the middle, in the middle of the columns, and press click and go right more or less uh what else i mm, give you an advice in this case you can press control plus f2 control plus f2 what does it do uh you can watch that we can do all pages but mainly we have here um the top or the right side of the page and it appears when you press control f2 so this is very, very useful when you press Control F2. Okay. There we have um, ready to start with the titles. For example, Cantidad. 
for example, descripción. Uh, we have precio unitario, precio unit. And we have the, um, su total, maybe, of valor. Like example, say valor, I will write here su total. I hope that you are following me. You are watching this video. I am describing for you slowly. I have a problem because the problem is the time. We don't have much time here to, to work slowly. But uh, I am trying to do it slowly. So we go to the center, maybe change the color. I don't know. You can uh, change anything here. But this is only the style. We need to make an example in, 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 in right here, for example, two dos computadoras marca HP. It's only an imagination. How much does it cost? It cost um, 3,200 quetzales, more or less. So we need a formula here in the subtotal. What's the formula and how can I do to calculate this in Excel? It's very easy. Remember, we only need to, to type the sign equal. Please watch here. I don't know, equal. You type igual in Spanish, equal, and go with your arrows to the left or maybe down or maybe up, maybe right. It doesn't matter. I need to find the first quantity. In this case, is two because they, they, they are two computers. So two, and uh, you need to write the operation, the math the mathematics operation that you need. In this case, we need to multiplicate a multiplication and an asterisk and go to the next uh, cell, the next uh, amount, the next uh, number that you need to, to calculate. In this case, is the price, 3,200, 3,200 uh, 3, quetzales. When you find this cell, you press enter and you have the result. When you have the result, you can copy this formula. Remember, these classes of Excel are the basic information. And you go to the corner of the result. You mark this cell and you go to the corner. And when you watch the change between a white cross to a black cross, you press click. When you press click, you go down maybe there and it's ready it's waiting for uh, more products for example uh tres mouses ópticos tres ratones how much does it cost maybe 65 quetzales 65 uh, quetzales and you watch the result is ready you can do here for example negrita in more or less and you watch that automatically Excel, Excel is making calculation for us. For example, um, cinco, five keyboards, teclados, USB. How much does it cost? Uh, 50, 50 quetzales. And you move and you have the result automatically. If you want to, to take the summarization, the total of, of all of products, you can go to Autosuma. I hope that you are watching my screen. You go to Autosuma, in Excel calculate uh, all uh, the, the, the total of the products and you press enter. You have here the total, the total, and you can change the color. You can write here total. For example, you can write here EVA, how much is the IVA uh, over the, the total? You can calculate, for example, with e equal, igual, the, the sign. You can start your formulas typing igual, typing equal. It doesn't matter. I hope that you, with my example, are understand why I'm talking here. <laughs> you watch equal and go to the amount that you need to calculate the IVA. In this case, the total. And you uh, indicate to Microsoft Excel what's the calculation. In this case, the math operation is um, a multiplication. So you 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 say as you you type asterisk, 
and indicate what's the amount of this tax. For example, uh, zero plus 12, 0 0.12, we say in Spanish, uh, 0 0.12. And you press enter, and you have um, the IVA, in this case, um, about the products. If you add another product, for example, uh, what else? Uh, the last example, <laughs> three um, bocinas. How much does it cost? 75. All changes. You have the subtotal. You have the change, the changes in the total, total, total. And you have changes in the IVA. You will change here the um, liquido. I don't know. Maybe. This is the, the summarizing between this and this, maybe. This is the final result of your um, uh, invoice. Finally, you design here in, in these bottoms your um, your style of invoice. You can center, combinari central, remember? Uh, and you can change this, uh, maybe the color, maybe you can hear a uh, nombre, maybe you can write here need, maybe you can write here a fecha, and so on. I don't know. And you have a design, maybe you can change the, the white of the rows and you you have your design here uh, of a quickly invoice in Microsoft in Microsoft Excel. So I am fighting here with the time. I'm fighting with the time. We don't have a lot of time uh, in this class, but I hope that you are understand what I am talking and what I am I want to share with you uh, in this in this class. Uh, remember, uh, we were talking about uh, the spreadsheet, the, the invoices, and all of these documents, all calculations about taxes we can do in Microsoft Excel. What's the tip? What's the advice for you? The tip is the the, the tip, the advice. Um, uh, the recommendation for you is, is always start typing the sign e equal, equal. This is the tip. If you use very well this sign, you will be a success uh, working in Microsoft, in Microsoft Excel. Uh, okay. At the end of the class, we have here, always we have some questions. What are these questions? Uh, we have five questions. What is a tax? Please review this video or go to the internet and ask to Google what is a tax. In your, cell, in your cell phone, you can do this type of question. Number two, what are the main taxes in Guatemala? What are the main, the main, because we have a lot of tax, a lot of taxes. What are the main taxes in Guatemala? Number two. Number three. Do the professionals pay taxes in Guatemala? This is a, a, a very interesting uh, uh, question here. Do the professionals pay taxes in Guatemala? Yes or no? Number four, what's a small taxpayer? What is a small taxpayer? Remember, we were talking about them. And the last question is, does the small taxpayer pay ESR in Guatemala? Does the small taxpayer pay ESR in Guatemala, I know that you have all the answer and you uh, make a screen here and go to the internet and, and ask and study for this week. So we are arriving at the end of the class and I appreciate that you were with me, listening to me, watching to me, and it's a pleasure to me share these topics today. So I will see you in the next week, the next weekend, and thanks for all. See you. Bye-bye.